In this video, we'll do the phase two analysis for Matthew 17, verse three. So we'll click the generate button. Okay, warning, this first changes the case frame for appear since A. Do you want to update the, the, update the case frame info now? Okay, when you see this, the first thing we always do is say cancel. Okay, we do not want to update it. And then we go and we look. So the word is highlighted in red. And if we look here, okay, uh, the theta grid for this verb is it takes an obligatory agent, never a patient, never a state, etc. Um, so this is an intransitive verb. And if you look down below, argument structure of the example is in Daniel 5.5. 5. A hand appeared in the room. So, okay, and if we look here, okay, the analyzer set this noun phrase to be a patient, set several of them to be patients, but appear never takes a patient. So. Uh, instead of generating it now, we'll fix this. Okay, then Moses and Elijah appeared in front of Peter, James, John, and Jesus. Okay, then Moses and Elijah. I don't know why this named phrase is there. Let's move this out. I'll hold down the control key. Okay. In front of Peter, James, and John. Okay, those phrases are out of order. So then Moses and Elijah appeared in front of Peter. Okay, Jesus is the last one in this list. So let's move Jesus to the last. Okay. And um, we need our in front of in the first noun phrase in front okay, in front of Peter. So this one should be first. In front of Peter, James, John, and Jesus. So let's move John, let's move this noun phrase right there. Okay. So this will be the first in a sequence. Let's see, Peter, James, John, and Jesus. Peter, James, John, and Jesus. Let's get rid of this named right there. Okay, now let's set the features. So this will be the first and not applicable. This will be coordinate and not applicable. This will be another coordinate and not applicable. And this will be last and not applicable. Then Moses and Jesus appeared in front of Peter, James, John, and Jesus. In front of Peter, James, John, and Jesus. Okay, that looks good. And Moses and Elijah were talking to Jesus and Moses and Elijah, first, last, talking to Jesus. Okay, and by the way, uh, this, is, this is an imperfective, a past imperfective, and uh, the analyzer correctly set the, the salience band here to backgrounded actions. Um, in English, we use imperfective aspect in two situations. In, if it's not a direct quote, and we want imperfective aspect, then we'll set the salience band to backgrounded. We won't set the verb's aspect to imperfective. Instead, we set the, the clauses, the proposition's salience band to backgrounded action. If it's a direct quote, and we want imperfective aspect, then we would set other uh, verbs have a feature called aspect, and we would set it to imperfective. But this isn't a direct quote, so the analyzer analyze that correctly. Okay, let's generate this. Then Moses and Elijah appeared in front of Peter, James, John, and Jesus, and were talking to him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the text down here matches the text up here. Down here we have pronouns. That's perfectly fine. Um, the, the content, the, the meaning down here is the same as up here. So we're done with Matthew 17, 3.